Guru, e boia, e buche, everybody in Cyberland. To fair bawalau. Alisa hope so. Omo odum, odile ke coming at you. With a video. Alright? And in this video, we're going to talk about something very simple and very simplistic. Alright? But before we dig into that, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for tuning in. I want to thank, thank you for sharing. I want to thank you for subscribing. Okay, and if you haven't done so, please do so. With that said, let's jump right in and let's talk about the topic of the day. The topic of the day comes with a understanding that we are all here to learn. We're all here to make a difference. We're all here based on the grand design that we are trying to meet, which is our destiny, right? But... But let's get down to the foundation, right? Let's get down to the foundation. And I want to focus today on greetings. Greetings. That's all. Something simple, right? Something soft, easy, right? Um, a lot of people forget that in Yoruba faith and in our traditions, it's important for us to understand what the greetings are, right? To understand, you know, what words we use when we use them, right? And uh, so... So I want to remind everybody, foundationally, if you're ever going to address an elder, if you're ever going to address someone that you already know as a priest or a priestess in one of the many subsections of our faith, Ocha, Ifa, Palo, it doesn't matter, come off respectful. Come off respectful. It's very important. And here's the reason why we do this. And it comes down to the word that's called mo furibale. Mo furibale. Mo furibale is the greeting from one ori to another ori. Right? A lot of times, mo furibale followed by an orisha or a divinity of some sort is you are greeting that divinity. Okay? Mo furibale. More importantly, priests and priestesses in this faith have gone through certain levels of consecration that put them to where they're at. Therefore, there is someone higher than them that guides them. So when you don't greet an elder properly, you are not greeting the divinity properly. So therefore, what are we doing? Almost a certain level of disrespect without really knowing it. And, and I'm not saying that if you haven't done it, in the, if you did it in the past and you never gave proper greetings, that's okay. You didn't know any better, but now you know better. So what does that mean? That means if, if someone is going to address a babala, let's say me, I will give you more courtesy and respect and, and hear you out a lot more if you start the conversation out the right way, respectfully. And respect within the Yoruba faith is where I'm trying to get everyone at right now. Is that understanding, right? For Baba Laos, what do we always say, right? Iburu boya, ibu sheshe. Iburu, iboya, ibu sheshe. Aburu, aboya, abu sheshe. Right? Different dialects, Yoruba, diaspora, and we get into it. But the concept never changes, right? Because even in those words alone, it talks about the needs of sacrificing, right? In order to accomplish. And, and that's captured in Patakis and that's captured in the Oracles of Ifa and it has very deep and significant meanings. But you will notice quickly that a lot of times people, right, will touch their forehead, they will signify the ground, they will touch the ground because the ground is sacred and we give thanks. Aburu Aboya Abu Sheshe, right, for Baba Laos. You'll see within the Ocha practices of things, Right? You see how they salute differently on the ground to their elders. Right, That's another method. In Yoruba practice, a lot of times the females, for their elders, they drop to their knees. In Yoruba, right? in Nigeria, traditional Nigeria, outside of the faith, that's just something they do. Men will submit themselves to the elders by laying... Um, you know, flat like a board, right? With their arms down, their elbows are pinned down um, to submit themselves to their elders. 
And as time grew, we began to kind of see why we did that, right? Certain Orishas have different ways we salute them. Um, and then as you begin to kind of peel that on your back, you say, wow, there's a lot of significance that even came over even in diaspora. Then you see them stand back up and give additional greetings in Ocha, um, in Palo, um, specifically within Paleros, they have different greetings, Salam Aleikum, right? And based on what houses they come from, they have different verbs and different uh, phrases, right? Different verses that they say. Um, but it's always important for you to understand your audience, right? And that's just not within the spiritual community, but in general, because it'll get you far. So greetings, right? So, so far, we understand aburu, aboya, abusheshe. Iburu, boya, abusheshe. Very important, right? Because it talks about the sacrifice, ifa. That's the way you greet a bawalao. If you don't know the bawalao, maybe you're not consecrated in anything. Then something you can say is baba. Good evening, baba. Right? Or... Good evening, Ia. Right? Father, mother. Because that's just a constant, uh, customary way of addressing people uh, within the faith, which is, a, is not a bad practice. It's a very good practice. Right? Because it humbles, it gives you a humble greeting. If you know what sect of within the faith they sit in, then you can go and you can start with your bendiciones, your greetings. Your, if you know what Orisha, their crown, you can go with the Maferafun, whoever, blessed be, you know, that Orisha, if it's Chango, Maferafun Chango. Good evening, right? And, and you start that way and you get results, I promise you. And not only results, but you get the ear <clears throat> of the divinities a lot of times because you're calling out their name. And you're talking in their tongue. Maferafun. Blessed be. It's like a chant. It's like a salute. Blessed be, Chango. Blessed be, Orumila. Maferafun, Chango. Maferafun, uh, Orumila. Right? So, so you begin to kind of see how that plays out, right? And then you talk about, okay, maybe you want to ask for blessings from that Orisha. Right? Then you see certain words like, Kaferafun. Ka. May that Orisha bless me. Kafarafun Chango. May Chango bless me. May I take may I have the blessings of Chango. Right? Or you see people talk about Adifafun. Adifafun has more to do with prophecy, prophesizing within the divina divination um, sex uh, of this faith, more of the priest and priestesses to kind of untangle sometimes. Um, so Adifafun is, 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 is talks about the prophecies. Adifafun, Chango, what was prophesied for Chango, was prophesied for Chango, um, you know, or was prophesied by Chango, right? So Adifafun, depending on how you use it, talks about prophecy. So you want to be careful on how you use that word as well. And then remember, Mufuribale, Mufuribale, very important and I want to end with that word why because I want you all to understand you have to greet properly all right at least within I want my godchildren to walk respectfully I want them to receive all the blessings they can get I want them when they walk into a room they can proudly say what ile they came from and they learned something. And those are the aspects and the traditions that bring pride to a godfather, to an Olu CYU, to a, an Oba, right? A, a, a chief of some sort. So those are the most important aspects that I want to make sure that I emphasize on because I think we are losing some of those, um, some of those traditions, some of those cultural norms that have to be reenacted and reminded within ourselves. So hopefully you guys took something out of this, right? We talked about Difafung, Mufuribale, Kaferafung, Maferafung. We talked about Aburu, Iboya, Abusheshe. We talk about those aspects. But more importantly, 
as you move on in this faith and you send emails and texts and and whatever it is you communicate through you remember that respect is fundamental good day baba good day ya aburu e boy abu cheche all that person is crowned oh yeah ma farafun oh yeah greetings I was wondering if you could help me with something. Those simple concepts will get you far. And with that said, Iburu, Iboya, Ibu Cheche, Cyberland, much love to you all.